Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you a pair of good alternatives for Google Plus Photos on Lollipop. So if you own a Nexus device and you've updated to Android 5.0, you've probably noticed that the old stock gallery app is gone. It's been replaced by Google Plus Photos, which is a very nice app in its own right, but many people prefer the look and the functionality of the old app. So if you'd like to get that back, I have a couple of options for you. Both of these are flashable zips, so you'll need to be rooted with a custom recovery installed for this one. But if you need any help with that aspect of it, just head to the full tutorial at the link in the description below this video. I've got root and custom recovery guides linked out for you, and you can also download either of these gallery apps over there. So the first option is the stock AOSP gallery app from previous versions of Android. It's tried and true, and it has an interface you're guaranteed to be familiar with. The second option is Motorola's take on this same app, and it's been updated with some material design elements. They basically just took the AOSP gallery app and gave it a facelift. But beyond that, the interface and functionality are both quite similar. But as a heads up, neither of these apps are without a minor flaw or two. The Material Gallery app force closes when you try to edit a photo, and the AOSP Gallery app has a blank settings menu. So take that into consideration when you're making your choice here. But once you have the respective zip files saved to your device, go ahead and boot into Custom Recovery. To do that, start by powering your Nexus completely off. When the screen goes black, press and hold the volume down and power buttons simultaneously. This will bring up Android's bootloader menu, and from here all you have to do is tap the volume down button twice to highlight recovery mode, then press the power button to confirm your choice. Now these zips are intended for use on Nexus devices running Android 5.0, but if you have a different device you may be able to use them anyway. I'd strongly suggest though that you make a full backup and recovery before flashing this on a non-Nexus device. If anything goes wrong, restoring that backup would be the easiest way to get things back to normal. And even if you do have an Nexus device, it's still a good idea to always have a fresh backup on standby just in case. With those disclaimers out of the way though, the next step is to just install the mod. So tap the install button here, then navigate to your device's download folder to find the gallery zip that you got from the full tutorial. I downloaded both of them so that you can see the file names, but since everybody's familiar with the stock AOSP gallery, I'll install the material design version. From here, just swipe the slider at the bottom of the screen to install the mod. Then when that's finished, tap Reboot System. When you get back up, you'll find Gallery sitting right where it should be in your app drawer. This is the material design version, but the same would be true for the stock AOSP version. And as you can see, it's got a very nice interface with a side navigation menu, and your camera roll and folders are easily accessible. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.